that is our Christmas star. And uh, again, maybe it's on the top of your tree. Maybe you have this symbol somewhere else in your house. Leave a comment down below is where your Christmas star is. And if you don't know the story of Christmas star, go look it up on Google. And uh, make sure if you want to play along that you click on the link down below and uh, go to the Amazon link and go ahead and buy this kit. It's around $15. Anybody should be able to afford it and play along with us each and every day. Thanks everybody for watching. Let's go check out how I built this Christmas star. So let's go build a star. So a Christmas star. Um, so let's go put five minutes on the clock and let's just get started. So we built a Christmas, um, what, what other thing? A bulb, I think that's coming up a little bit later, but we need to build a Christmas star. I'm thinking yellow, but that's not the right, that, that's, we're not gonna have the right pieces, I don't think. I mean, we could do something real simple like this. And now we have a Christmas star. I don't think so. Um, but how are we going to do this correctly? Something like this, maybe? This is close to what I'm thinking. Something like that. Maybe, well, let's see what it looks like if I build it up, right? Let's, let's not poo-poo it yet until we know that it doesn't look right. So something like that, and then put another brown piece underneath. Actually, we'll go, we'll go a different direction with this one. Looks like a like a guy more than a, like a bodybuilder more than a star. I gotta scrap it. Scrap the whole thing. Let's let's start again. Sometimes you just gotta start all over, right? And then it, it always ends up better, I find. So we scrap that idea. Now we gotta come up with a completely new idea, which is um, hard to do sometimes, you know hard to recognize when things aren't going the direction that you thought it was going to, even though it was only like five seconds worth of direction. So now we have to do something different. And I'm thinking, hmm, I wanna build something that kinda extends outwards, you right? So something along the lines of a peg with a knees on top. Okay, that's not bad. So a peg with a one by two plate on top of it. And then one of these green pieces. Like that, so it, you know, extends outwards like that. That's not bad. Not liking that color, of course. Maybe we'll switch it up to be white uh, later, or right now, maybe. It's not a snowflake, but but I think the white is a better idea. We use the brown underneath to support it better. So then we need another black piece this corner uh, and where's the last one here it is so we have four in this kit that. and then the green goes on top And then in the middle, integrate that glowy piece. And that's not bad. 
Yeah. That's a star. The colors are weird, right? But that's okay. Would it be better if it's blue? Yes. Because the red, for some reason, sticks out like a sore thumb. That's not bad. Can I change this up in any way to get rid of these top corners? No, I don't think so. So we're running out of time. And I'm going to make a mount for this. Because you hang it, you typically hang it on the Christmas tree, right? But in this case, in this case we don't have a Christmas tree. So we're going to just mount it like that. And now we have a Christmas star. That's kind of weird. Hmm. Do I like it? I don't know. Let's see what else I can do to add embellishments that are going to make it look more like a star. What if I did, what if I did uh, purple and pinks? Well, that purple looks okay. The yellow looks better. Yeah, the embellishments helped. It's still not where I'd like it to be. See, we can't build it up there. Yeah, okay. A Christmas star, I think it w turned out okay. It's, it's actually quite tricky of a build, I'm surprised. It's surprised on how tricky that one really was. It turned out to be pretty hard, honestly. So let's uh, let's put that one in the books and call that a Christmas star. Definitely, you know, got the right shape, a star man kind of feel to it. Um, so I, I think it turned out okay. Stop the clock. So if you want to play along, if you think yeah, I did a good job, leave a comment. If you don't think I did a good job, leave a comment and give us suggestions how we can do things better here on our channel. And uh, we'll try and incorporate it. And if you want to play along, the link of the kit is down below. Go build something each and every day. That's my motto. Make, share daily. It means go make something each and every day. So I hope you do too and share it with us at Make Share Daily. It doesn't have to be with Legos. If you make something out of wood, share it to us. Just hashtag Make Share Daily. We'll get it, we'll comment on it. We'd love to see all of your creations, all of your builds each and every day. So make sure to uh, go ahead and post your items. And uh, let's go check out what we're gonna build tomorrow. Well, that was a cool build. Now let's spin a wheel of makers and find out what we're gonna make tomorrow. So this whole week we're doing Christmas stuff. And what do we have? We have the first Christmas item, which is a stocking. So stockings hell, you know, hung by the fire. We're gonna build a stocking out of 221 pieces. Not really sure how we're gonna do it, but let's go tune in tomorrow's episode to find out how I build a stocking. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.